When I catch you, mother, I kill you, mother. Check, check, check. You crazy? Check, check, check. I'm gonna with. I don't pick up. You want Floyd Mayweather was the first person to tell Jake Paul to cancel the fight as soon as he heard about it. Usually, Floyd stays calm and out of trouble. He doesn't like to talk about other people or make predictions. But because he has so much respect for Mike Tyson, he couldn't keep quiet this time. He erupted in anger and seriously warned Jake Paul. This anger wasn't just about the fight announcement, it was also about the mean things Jake said about Tyson's late daughter. And guess what? Floyd didn't stop there, he went on to spill some juicy secrets about the Paul brothers. We got the scoop, so let's get started. And the only thing I have to say about Mike Tyson is everyone is always trying to judge Mike Tyson. He lived his life the way he wanted to live his life. No one can say how what they would have done if they were in his shoes. Floyd Mayweather. No Floyd Mayweather, known as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound boxers of all time, started fighting when he was seven years old. In his early days, people called him Pretty Boy, and he retired with an impressive undefeated record that included 15 major world championships in weight classes, ranging from super featherweight to light middleweight. But when you ask Floyd who played a big part in his success, Mike Tyson's name is always brought up. Even though Floyd Mayweather and Tyson are fierce rivals in the ring and are not related by blood, Mayweather has never said anything bad about Tyson instead, he always praises Tyson's hard work and dedication. Both men are huge in the boxing world, and they have a special bond with each other. You might remember an amusing incident from 2015 during a WBC convention at the Mirage Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. Their Mayweather, who was the WBC welterweight and junior middleweight champion at the time, was interacting with various attendees on stage. Suddenly, Tyson approached him and playfully pretended to throw one of his famous right hands after the Fed attack. Tyson walked away with a smirk, leaving the audience amused. To his credit, both of these famous boxers have since retired. But Mayweather barely flinched and reacted with a warm hug and a smile, showing that he was a good sport. Mayweather retired with a perfect 5-0-0 record, never losing a fight. This solidifies his place as one of the most respected and wisest figures in the sport today. For many fans and journalists, getting an interview with Mayweather or having him on a podcast is like a dream come true, but he doesn't do it very often, so it's unclear what made him step forward and tell Jake Paul to cancel his fight with Tyson right away. Let's dig deeper into this unfolding story and find out what's really going on. What happened? You're not tough anymore since your loss? What happened since your loss? Yo, we gonna bust him up, guys? Yo, let's bust him up. Where are you running, Jake? Where are you going since your fight? Since you lost? What's up, Jake? Where are you going, Jake? Oh, he's running! He's running! Look at him! Jake Paul running, champ! Why is he running? Now let me spill the beans on something super interesting that seems to have flown under the radar. The footage you just saw is from when Floyd Mayweather last bumped into Jake Paul in February 2023. Now let me tell you something really cool that hasn't been talked about much the video you just saw is from Floyd Mayweather's last meeting with Jake Paul, which happened in February 2023 right after Jake lost a fight to Tommy Fury. Oh boy, Jake was the target of a lot of jokes after that. On February 26, 2023, Fury and Paul fought in an eight-round cruiserweight match in Dubai, Saudi Arabia. The fight had everyone on the edge of their seats, especially since Paul had been challenging real boxers to make a name for himself in the ring. Legends in the sport is Jake's wild way to fame, and as you all know, Tommy Fury comes from a line of heavy hitters his dad and brother are both acclaimed punchers Jake dared him, but he lost. Destiny is now looking forward to the next big fight, which will happen on July 20th when Mike Tyson fights Jake. Things are looking hot. Want to hear what Mike's coach said? Eek is a monster and the only thing I can guarantee Mike going to touch Jay 100% it's going to be impossible to Mike don't touch Jay that's straight from the man who holds the MS for Tyson who trains with him day in and day out and let's get this right Tom Fury is not. Eek is a monster. Yeah, the only thing I can guarantee, Mike gonna touch Jay 100%. It's gonna be impossible to Mike don't touch Jay. Jake going into the ring with a legend of Big Fish whose punches are nearly impossible to dodge Tyson a fearsome beast in his prime had a glare that could freeze you before the fight even started his opponents often felt beaten before the first bell during fights Tyson's cold focus let him pull off. Moves without a hitch and although he's renowned for his knockout punches his defensive moves are seriously slick he dodged and weaved like no other setting himself up for those brutal counterattacks and here's Jake still gearing up to step into the ring it almost seems like he's lost at chasing fame, or who knows what coming back to Floyd Mayweather he made it crystal clear Jake is just a kid in the ring against Tyson. Jake can't handle Mike's punches. He's out of his league here. Uh, wow. Jake Paul, I mean, as of right now, for what he's doing, it's good for what he's doing. But once he fights a real actual a real fighter, it, it's, it's going to be bad. Well, we know what Floyd is hinting at here. He's talking about that YouTube gig Jake Paul has been rolling with. 
Well, we know what Floyd is hinting at here. He's talking about that YouTube gig Jake Paul has been rolling with you no shooting videos, chatting up other boxers, making vlogs, or hopping on podcasts to gab about the latest buzz that's Jake's comfort zone, but Floyd's got a reality check ready for it. Once Jake steps into the ring with a legit boxer, he's going to feel a smackdown that's way different from scripted YouTube drama. In the ring, there are no resets, no edits, just raw, hard reality, the kind that can crush anyone not tough enough to handle, and Floyd didn't mince words when he said, As long as he continued to fight, MMA guys and YouTubers, he's going he's to continue to look good and shine. But once he fights a real fighter, a, a real fighter that can really fight, it's not going to be it's not going to be that good. Smooth roast by Floyd Wright. We all see that Jake's been in the ring, mostly with MMA fighters and fellow YouTubers. These guys might be tough. But they're not seasoned boxers. They come to cash in on a one time boxing thrill, not to build a career in the ring. Jake's got big dreams, sure. And nobody's saying he can't make something of himself. But first, he's got to learn the rules, the ethics of the sport. You can't just jump in, throw shade or disrespect someone's family and expect to be taken seriously, especially not when Jake made a whole video mocking Mike Tyson. Every podcast, every show he's there throwing jabs and listen to this bold claim from Jake. Well, I want to see how hard he hits. Mike, I, Mike, I, I really want to see, bro. Let's see all the legends, the myths, because you're Iron Mike Tyson, but I have an iron chin. Does he even know why we call Mike Tyson Iron Mike Tyson burst onto the professional boxing scene at just 19? And by 20, he was the world heavyweight champion in 1985. He fought 15 times in one year, winning every single match, his fierce style sending chills down the spines of even the toughest. Veteran Sports Ill Rated once featured him with the tagline Kid Dynamite and Sky Sports called him the most ferocious fighter ever to step inside a ring. His ruthless approach, his brash style, it kind of made him the villain in the eyes of many, hence the baddest man on the planet as Tyson's reign. Continued, he earned the nickname Iron for his physical strength, his knockout power, his durability. And his sheer unbreakable will the T of Iron Mike was a tribute to a fighter who could take on any and all comers a legend made of steel through and through. And here's Jake saying he's got an iron chin that can take whatever Mike throws at him. That's not just bold, that's borderline delusional. Stepping into the ring with Tyson is not a vlog, it's not a podcast, it's real, and it's brutal. And finally, here's how Floyd Mayweather straight up warned Jake Paul to save his life. His life. I, I apologize, but- not, No apologize. No, no. There, there's no way. He he get the models. Most of Mike Tyson's opponents were so badly hurt that they needed breaks to come back. And let's be real, Mike has never stepped into the ring with a newbie he's always faced off against fighters on his level seasoned pros who knew their way around about, and he still beat them up. So the idea of Jake getting out of the ring victorious seeing Mike's power and experience Jake would be demolished. And when a man like Floyd says something like that, believe me, he knows something we don't. So what do you think? Will Jake step back or is he destined to break some bones in the fight? Drop your thoughts in the comments and yeah, hit that subscribe button and like the video because we're the ones bringing you the hottest gossip around.